Thanks, guys. Now, with all the options out there, it was really tough to pick a winner for this ca category, but you, our local experts, made your voices heard for Jack's Best Waterfront Dining. Well, if you were amazed by those stunning images you just saw, you have no doubt the reason that you, our local experts, voted Caps on the Water, Jack's Best Waterfront Dining. I'm hanging out with owner Bernard, so that is for you, sir. Thank you very much, appreciate it. So, I've been here a few times, and I obviously know how good it is, but some people, they may not have ventured this far south or north, depending on what part of the town you live in. Tell me about Caps. Well, Caps has been here a long, long time, since 1940s. Oh, really? Yeah, it was just the only place here where used to be a fish camp, and they uh, they rented uh, boats, and you could buy some bait, and it was called Propol's Fish Camp. Mrs. Propol would make some devil crab. It was the only food they sold. Now it's a full-fledged restaurant since 1980, actually. I bought it from the guy who transformed into a real restaurant in 1980. And it's neat when you get here, because you drive through the neighborhood, you turn at the castle on A1A, everybody knows the castle, not the fort downtown, but the castle north of the city. And you turn there, and you, you just go down this dirt road, and there was nothing, and then you came to Caps. Well, the Caps is still there, and of course the neighborhood has exploded <laughs> everywhere, houses everywhere. But the fact that we are in a residential neighborhood makes it fairly unique, you know? So it's a true destination, dining destination. We're on the intercoastal, beautiful sunsets, and no, I didn't create this, obviously. And, uh, <laughs> but we do try to create a great experience for you to dine and, and, and have a great bottle of wine or a good, good stiff drink. We're on the water, so people and have to ask us, where are you? We're on the water. They are on the water, and they do have, can you, people can pull up on the dock too, right? Yeah, we have a 100-foot dock. So the dock is usually too small on the weekends because everybody wants a dock, right. and there's nobody during the week, so come during the week. There's plenty of room at the dock. <laughs> Uh, we talk about caps and you say seafood is that that's not the main focus because i mean you guys kind of touch on a, def, a couple of different menu items well no we're seafood oriented i mean oh, yeah. also i mean not only locals love seafood but the tourists want seafood you cannot serve only seafood in a seafood restaurant i mean we have a steak we have a nice filet we have a hanger steak we got a chicken dish uh, there's vegan, vegetarian dishes now. We gotta, you gotta stay up at the time. You know? <laughs> true that, true that. And I mean, the seafood is amazing. But let me tell you, you come here anytime, weekend during the day or whatever. But if you got a date night in mind, man, this place is the place to be. Lots of marriages started here. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you have an opinion on why this is like the best waterfront dining but why do you think the rest of the city but because i mean there's plenty well, of i think the best waterfront dining i mean we i think it's the more good restaurants on the water you know the fish camps and stuff there's just very few restaurants on the water mm -hmm. i know i don't want to diminish my my order Here, i'm taking that back <laughs> <laughs> but i mean there's there's a shame there's so little places where you actually can dine on the water you know but it's uh, i think we have a when you come here there's a big chance you're going to sit on the water I think that makes a huge difference because, I mean, we have like 300 feet of waterfront here mm -hmm. with tables. So that makes a huge, huge difference. Now, with the busyness that goes on and also as we keep moving forward with some of the things uh, health related, do you suggest people make a reservation for some of the nights or do you guys do well, that? I could suggest that, but we don't take any reservations. That's uh, That sounds a little arrogant that we don't do that, but the problem is we have many outdoor tables. So if we would take reservations, we got to calculate for inclement weather. Mm. So since COVID, we adapted to a strict, no bigger than six party policy. You know, our kitchen is, is, is not small, but I mean, it's a large restaurant. We have 399 seats. And to give everybody a good experience, if you have those 18 and 20 people that wants to come dine, we just can't take that anymore. All right, so if people want to know more, find out about your menu, maybe they want to get an idea before they come out, where would they go online to find you? Capsonthewater.com. Bet. That's oh, easy. Yeah. Thank you, Jacksonville, for voting Caps on the Water, best waterfront dining in Jacksonville. We really appreciate it and look forward to having you. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. And voting on our most recent...